Hey everyone, I'm really excited about this training we're bringing to you today. So I'm asked all the time about what's the most important thing to build your reverse business. And personally, I believe that's a CRM. Now you also have to have a web presence. So then I'm asked, okay, well, are there reverse focused companies for that? And in fact, that's the name of this company. So I really, really have you guys have used you guys for years. I believe in you. I you've had an immense impact on my business. Um, I'd love for you guys to share some of what you do so that you can have impacts on other people's businesses too. Uh, first, we're going to have Eric Hyatt and I've known Eric forever. He's an awesome guy. And then we're going to have Ryan Hookie and he's going to go over all of the actual inside of the software so you can see it and see all of the amazing features through this product. Uh, so Eric, I, welcome. Thanks for coming on today. Thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, Christine, I look forward to this. Um, first off, I just wanted to share that I think that it's amazing that you're participating in this sort of training. Um, I have been in all aspects of the reverse mortgage business from origination on the banking side a bit, and then of course into this software company. And um, it's so important when uh, whether you're uh, brand new to the mortgage industry and wanting to get into reverse or you're from the traditional lending side and you want to get in reverse or you're a reverse, a reverse originator who just wants to polish their skill set. I think this is so critical, you know, learning all the tools and tricks of the trade. It's a great program and um, our, our, our clients are amazing. So um I really uh, think it's awesome that you're that you're doing this this program. So Reverse Focus was founded in uh, 2007 um, by individuals with a track record of success in the mortgage uh, industry. And so I'm I'm a, I'm one of the founders and uh, the original founder. And um, we've really developed this company out of a need back in 2007 for more tools in the reverse mortgage space. And um, to this day, we've been able to really polish those tools and build excellence around what we produce and um, what we're able to help originators do. So I'm really excited for Ryan to share today about what it is that we do and how we can help you prospect, nurture, and fund more loans. So thanks again for, for watching this section. And again, congratulations on making the choice to uh, educate yourself and learn how to do very well in the reverse mortgage industry. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. We're excited for today's session. And Ryan, if you want to take it from here, let's go. All right. Sounds good. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Ryan, like they've said. Uh, here at Reverse Focus, we have three main products. And you, you probably heard Christina talk about them, but we have our CRM, which is called Sales Engine. And then we, we coined this phrase web presence, which is just our website templates. And then we have our optional SEO program. And so we, you know, we provide originators with a cutting edge end to end toolkit purpose built for each stage of the loan life cycle. Okay. We have our mission is to stay close to the industry and never stop innovating. So like Eric said, we were founded back in 2007. We look so much different and so much better than we did back in 2007. And so we're constantly innovating because we own our products, our CRM, our web templates, the SEO, that's all done in-house. We have our own development team with the CRM and the websites. We built it from the ground up specifically for the reverse mortgage industry. Now we have a, a little formula for success that we've, we've put together that we like to use. Now, one little disclaimer, you do not have to do everything that we have. So just wanna let you know that from the bat, you know, you don't have to do everything we have. You can do one piece, couple pieces, or the whole package. So what we have is our, the formula that we have is the SEO program, which stands for search engine optimization, plus the user experience, plus the customer experience equals success. And so with SEO, that stands for search engine optimization, we're going to use our SEO team to get your website at the top of Google in your local area. So we're not trying to get the whole state that you're in or the whole country. We take a really localized approach, which is how we're able to get people to the top of Google. We have clients, the number one spot in Google all over the country right now. So that's the first step is we got to get you to the top. Second step, you're at the top. Now people click on your link and they land on your website. So our websites are very um, easy and clear to use. So if a, a client, a potential client lands on your website, 
it's very clear that they can make a phone call, fill in a contact form, fill in a quote form, okay, for them to do that. Once they fill in that contact form, we want to take the third step of customer experience and we shoot them into your CRM, uh, which if you sign up with us, it's called Sales Engine. So as soon as they fill in the form, we put their information into Sales Engine, you get a notification letting you know, hey, you have a new lead. And then that lead is now in your system and they're getting drip emails from Sales Engine. And we, the Sales Engine comes pre-built with emails all about reverse mortgage. So they're already getting educated about reverse mortgages before you even have to give them a call. So that's our formula for success. Now I'm gonna break down each of these components. The first one is our websites. So our websites, they come fully loaded with 15 pages of content all about reverse mortgages. So people land on your website, they are going to get educated about reverse mortgages. The whole process, they're gonna learn a whole lot of things about the, the industry. Okay. We have very simple call to actions, like I said. Um, we have a modern lead capture system and for management. Okay. It is uh, API ready with our sales engine CRM. And then we have an optional HECM calculator and a blog feature. Now, one quick note, those things are not extra. There's no additional cost that involves with the calculator or the blog. It's just optional if you want to turn them on or off. Okay. Obviously, your website's going to be fully branded to you, your business, your logo, your domain name, your NMLS number and contact information, everything like that's going to be on your site. Um, and then my personal favorite feature of the website is the custom pages and landing pages. So like I said, your website comes with content already on it, but the custom pages and landing pages give you the ability to create your own content or get your own videos on the website. Anything you want to do, you can get it on the site and you're not stuck within the constraints of our template that we have. So that's a really, really cool feature that we have with the websites. Plus we have a media library. So with the websites, there's lots of places where there can be photos. And instead of you having to go you know, look through the internet for good looking photos, we have a whole library that you can choose from or you can still upload your own. Um, and then obviously everything's mobile optimized. We have 24 seven website monitoring and security management, CFPB and ADA compliant, and then remote support. So with the websites, you know, whenever you sign up, I actually get your website up and running. Hey, you're not starting from scratch. I get it all going. Hey, we do all the initial work. Then you're going to get access to a back end of the website. So you can make really easy edits to the website. Now, when I tell people they can edit the website, they kind of get scared or overwhelmed at first. And that's not the case with our system. It's actually very simple to edit your website. It's as simple as changing words on the page. It's very, very simple. Anybody can do it. But if you need help, you can always reach out to us. Hey, we have amazing support here at Reverse Focus. So you can shoot us an email. We'll take care of your website. We can change things on it. And we can make edits. We can help you out so we can get the website exactly like you like. Okay. Now, with the website, you can add on our SEO program. Now, a few quick uh, facts about SEO. Um, and just, so we called it searchonomics. You know, there's about 8.5 billion searches per day on Google. And when people search, nine out of 10 of those clicks are gonna be organic results. So me personally, I never click on those top spots because those are all Google ads. Okay, once you get past those Google ads, those are gonna be the organic results. And that's where we're trying to get you to be the number one spot with our SEO program. Okay, but then within that, we know that the top three results typically capture 61% of the clicks. So that just means it's really important not only to get on the first page of Google, but to be in that top three spot of Google. So that's just showing you how important it is to really take advantage of the SEO program if you're wanting to generate some organic leads from your website. <clears throat> now, in order to do that, you know, we've talked about it. We have our online dominance program. Okay? It's a comprehensive targeted lead generation program built exclusively for the reverse market audience by people who know reverse. So there, with our SEO program, you know, a lot of people do a lot of different things, uh, but we take that localized approach. We want to get you to the number one spot in your local area. So I'm just going to use myself as an example for this demonstration. I live in Nashville, Tennessee. And so if I signed up for the SEO program, our copywriting team would write a, a custom page all about reverse mortgages in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, the copywriting team writes it in a way 
that really helps your ranking. Hey, Google likes what they write. It shows that you're an authority figure and it shows that you, you're you not only a reverse mortgage expert, but you're in that, the local area of Nashville. Okay, So we write that in a really great way to help with Google. And then, so we get that page on your website and then our SEO team does all of their technical backend work. Hey, personally, I, I don't know how to do it. That's why we have our SEO team. It's a little bit complicated with the schema code, meta description and tags, image tags and descriptions. Hey, the way that we've created the architecture of our website and the site map creation, it, we found we created these websites in a way that will really help with your ranking on SEO. So all of that put together, we really helps the, uh, your ranking rise in Google. Now that's all the stuff that we do on your website. Off of your website, we also help you get a Google business profile set up and optimized. If you already have one, we'll just use that one and optimize it. Okay, we actually run some, some Google business profile smart ads. That's kind of like an added bonus that we do. It's not really something we like to advertise a lot, but we just like to do it for our clients at first um, to help them get started. We also do a Google Analytics and Google Search Console setup, plus we give you access to a real-time metrics dashboard. So we actually have a custom dashboard um, set up that we give you access to as a part of our SEO program. That's going to show you all the stats and details that you need with clicks, uh, you know, average website, you know, time spent on your website, you know, the duration there, how many calls, how many impressions, all those kind of uh, data that's going to be found on your dashboard. And finally, we have our call tracking. Uh, that we we put onto your website. So we're going to give you a call tracking number and it's going to forward automatically to your phone number. But that way we can track how many phone calls you're getting. We're going to be able to put those track calls on that dashboard so you can see them all in a list. You can see you know how many phone calls you've had and you can really track those results as well. Now, one thing to note with SEO is first off, it is not Google Ads. You are not paying any money to Google for your website to start showing up. Okay, this is an organic approach to get you ranked at the top. Okay, and it's also more of a long-term play and it's great to do if you're thinking about the future. Okay, you have to have patience with SEO. And so it takes about six months, depending on your location. It could be less, it could be more to get you to the top of Google because there's just a lot of work that goes into it. So we're always very, very clear with our clients. You know, if you signed up today, you're not gonna be at the top of Google next week, right? That's not possible. But in its six or so months, we're gonna get you to the top and then we're going to keep you at the top of Google. So what that means is if people are looking for reverse mortgages, they're going to find your website. That's what we're making sure that you, that happens in our program. Um, and we're making sure that your presence is found online. Now, like I said, we, we give you access to, um, you know, all the data, website impressions, search traffic, time on page, you know, what, what phrases is your website showing up for, all of that kind of information. And here's an example uh, of what the dashboard kind of looks like. This is just one piece of it, but you'll see, you know, at calls that you've had, you know, times your website showed up in search, times your Google map, your Google business profile showed up. Um, all this kind of data we're giving you access to. Okay, here's what the phone call tracking looks like. You can see how many calls you've had, how many you've answered and missed, how many were first time calls, you know, average duration, and you have the whole list of them. Okay, I blocked it out, but this would give the name, if we could get the name, phone number, you know, all this information. So we know that the SEO program is more of an investment. And so we wanna make sure that you're able to track the results, make sure you like what you see, make sure it's working out for you um, as time goes on. All right, so that's our SEO program. Like I said, you can just do the website. You can do the SEO program um, as well. And you can also add the SEO program on at a later date. So if you were to sign up for the website, you can always add on the SEO program a couple months later if you wanted to just hold off. Hey, Ryan, before we jump away from the uh -huh. SEO, I'd, I'd love to, I brought some notes. I'd love to make a few comments. Great. <laughs> Maybe ask Great. a couple questions. Um, okay. So I've, I've worked with you guys forever and what you're uh -huh. saying is absolutely true. I've also coached a lot of loan officers on getting your website, getting everything dialed in. And what I find is that typically the older generation of loan officers, as soon as they put a website up, 
and pay for SEO, they're expecting the lead, their phone to start ringing off the hook. Right. <laughs> and I think it's really important that you, you talk about, it. I mean, you did a great job covering. It. I just want to reinforce that, that that's not how it works, guys. That's how the right. internet works, period. So really committing to not just six months, right? Because you're just going to start getting your traction. For me personally, using your guys' services, I found the biggest peak to be at year three. That's, and then it kind of, it kind of stayed there. That's mm-hmm. the biggest level up is when I start, I, I tracked all, obviously you guys track everything, um, tracked all the calls I would get just random internet leads. And in year three, I really got that spike. And, and Mm -hmm. so really I want to reinforce what you're saying is like, this isn't something that you try for two months and especially the CRM. I know you're going to go into that, but, um, there were some things that you talked about. I was actually writing notes because I learned some software jargon (laughs) while you were talking. Um, and uh, what is it? The copywriting team. I think that's an important aspect that you guys have because Right. I used to write my own blogs and oh my gosh, the time drain. I used to do my own websites too. And that's why I found you guys, you know, years ago, because every time there's an update, every time there was some glitch, the ADA and CFBB compliance that you guys have is a huge feature. I don't know if you lead with that, but just having that and having the updates come through, you know, in reverse, we have so many guideline updates having that automatically done for you is a huge piece off of my plate and it's totally worth it. So um, I think that was all my notes for that, that section. Didn't mean to interrupt no, yeah. you. I know you've got no. good stuff coming for us in the other two parts. I'm, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned it's, you know, I think sometimes people hear crazy stories about, Oh, I launched this website and I immediately was overwhelmed with phone calls. And it's just like, you know, having a website's not magical or, it's not magic, right? There's hard work that goes into it. There's time and patience, but it does pay off in the end, like, Mm -hmm. you know, and especially if you're thinking about the future, it's such a, it's the investment so worth it to get the SEO program so that you can find yourself at the top and people are finding your website. Totally. Yeah. It's like, it's like an online business card. Mm -hmm. If you hand your business card out to 10 people, are you guaranteed a funded loan from that? No, but now they have your contact info. And they verify that you're real and hopefully you're much higher ranked than anybody else in the category. So they're going to call you. Right. Yeah. That's so true. Now, one thing I do want to mention, you know, some people might be thinking, well, is it worth it to get a website if I'm not doing the SEO program? And the answer is yes, because, you know, one example is whenever you're, if you're trying to close a loan or you're meeting with, you know, some seniors and their adult children look you up. If they search your name and you have a website with us, they're going to be able to find your website. So that's just really, really important. You know, if somebody searches your name and they can't find anything about you, odds are they're not going to, you know, use you. They're going to tell their parents, hey, go find somebody else. I found this person. They're at the top of Google. Just use them instead. They clearly have presence, right? So it is worth it. If you aren't going to do the SEO program, it's still worth it to get a website for that example, plus it's always nice to be say, to be able to say, hey, go check out my website, go here, you can find my information here. So it might not be generating a lot of leads, but it's going to help you in the long run. I've experienced that myself. So everything you said is true. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, let's keep checking along. I'll meet myself again. All righty. So the third product that we have here, um, and I think it's Christina's favorite, she talks about it a lot is our CRM and the name of our CRM is sales engine. And as you know, you know, we were founded by people in the reverse industry. And so this CRM is built just for the reverse industry. Okay, it's a groundbreaking approach to reverse mortgage CRM built by a team of passionate, experienced and innovative entrepreneurs and developers. It was designed with a single focus to help you prospect, nurture and close more loans. Now, our CRM, just so you know, we own the whole thing. So we have our, a whole development team. We're making improvements and upgrades to it. So we own the whole platform. It's not like a third party or white label thing. We own the whole thing. Now, one piece before we get into the details, you know, our motto here is the best CRM is the one that you actually use. So there's a ton of CRMs out there. There's a lot of amazing CRMs out there. But the best one is going to be the one that you actually use. And the reason for this slide is just to show you that our customers are actually using our CRM. So we took some stats and we're, people, our clients are sending about 100,000 emails every single month from the platform. 
In 2021, they founded about, funded about 7,000 loans, which is about 14% of all the reverse loans in the US. So just showing you, we have a lot of users. They are using it. They're happy with it. It's easy to use. And so just wanted to show you those numbers before we get into sales engine here. So obviously there's a lot of features to it, um, but a few features I wanted to point out is obviously you can import your leads into the sales engine. So if you have an Excel file, okay, we can get that, all your leads imported in there, uh, matched up with the fields and everything. And then you're going to be able to track their status throughout your whole sales process. So um, the way our status progression is set up makes sense for reverse. Okay, you can always edit it if you would like, but we have that in there so you can manage your leads really well. And then we also have the whole separate tab for your referral partners. So uh, you know, you can manage all your leads in one place and then all your referral partners in a separate place. Um, now, lead distribution network, this is more uh, if you have a whole team that you're managing and you get them all to sign up for Sales Engine. We have a whole lead distribution network where if you get a lead come in, you can make it go to a certain loan officer based on a set of rules that you have. So we have that. We have team management. So like we have a user hierarchy built in. Again, this is more of a bigger picture for those of you who are running you know, a branch or division with several loan officers underneath you. Um, you can click to call out of Sales Engine. You can create web forms in Sales Engine. You can manage your wholesale business. And then probably the best part, the most important part are our workflow automations. Okay, those are going to be the drip emails that get sent out from the system. They're gonna be the reminders and you can filter those down based on condition. And so some of what your conditions most likely are going to be reflected on your statuses. So you can say, if the status is this, send this email, okay? And then as soon as your status changes, they're not gonna get those, maybe those welcome emails anymore. As soon as it changes something else, they're gonna get some other type of email to push them along in the process. And when you sign up with us, we do have those email campaigns already built for you. We have several you know, drip campaigns for you to choose from. Plus, you have the ability to create your own. So you're not stuck with what he gave you. You have the ability to create your own drip email campaigns, get those set up and start using them. Um, you can set reminders for yourself. And if you have a team, you can set reminders for your team. We have pipeline management and reporting. And then everything is secure. We're on Amazon Web Services. So we have everything is secure. You're not going to lose any data or anything like that. And on the emails, just so you know, whenever you send an email out from the workflow automations, it's going to come from your email address and any replies will land in your inbox. So, and we get that all set up for you whenever you sign up for the program. So you don't need to worry about that kind of any SMTP setup with Sales Engine. Now, another amazing feature about Sales Engine is our integrations. So we have a fully built out API. So obviously, if you know what that means, you know, that means you can integrate with a lot of apps out there, other platforms with the API. But we also have native integrations with Quantum Reverse and Reverse Vision, which um, those are really, really exciting, especially the Quantum Reverse integration that we have. Um, because Quantum is online, we're actually able to speak back and forth between our platforms. So if you put a lead into Sales Engine, a sales engine is going to automatically shoot that lead into your quantum reverse account. And then if you make any updates in quantum, it's going to push that information back to sales engine and so on and so forth. Okay, same thing with the milestones. In quantum, you have milestones and in sales engine, we have statuses. We're going to match the, you're going to tell us what milestone equals what status. And if you change a milestone in quantum, it's going to change the status appropriately in sales engine. So that's a really cool integration we just released. And we're really, really excited about it. Um, and our clients are loving it. We do have a reverse vision integration. Um, that one's a little bit more limited just because reverse vision is not an online platform. But basically what's going to happen is if you put a new lead in a sales engine, you can click a button and we're going to push that information directly into your reverse vision account. Um, and then one final note is we do have a Zapier app which means if you create a lead somewhere else, okay, we have a, if you know what Zapier is, okay, it's a way that you can uh, link two different platforms together. Uh, Zapier is kind of like the magic link between the two. And if you 
basically our Zapier app allows you to create a new lead in Sales Engine. So if you create a, if you get a new lead from somewhere that has a Zapier app and that you can push that information into Sales Engine using Zapier. If you don't know what any of that means, you can ignore what I just said all about Zapier. Um, Zapier is one of my favorite platforms, but I know a lot of people don't know what it is. <laughs> all right, we have a video here that one of our clients sent us. It's a testimonial video about Sales Engine. Now, one quick note is we did not ask for this video. We didn't pay for it or bribe them in any way. Um, they actually just sent it to us out of the blue. And so it's a really great video to uh, let you know how our clients are using it and the success that they've had. So I'll go ahead and play this and you can listen in. Hey, reverse mortgage professionals. One of the most asked questions in mortgage-related chat groups and forums online is what CRM is the best? So I wanted to make this video for you to fill you in on what CRM my team uses to better engage with our clients, manage our flow of inbound leads, and increase our ROI. It's Sales Engine by Reverse Focus. Now I wanna be clear, Sales Engine isn't paying me a dime for this video. I'm sharing this information with you in an effort to help our industry move forward in reverse. Over the years at conferences across the country and online, I've spoken to you about ways to increase production and help more clients achieve a better retirement. Sales Engine has helped my team do just that. The best thing that I can say about Sales Engine is that my team actually uses it. We've tried several CRMs throughout the years from the biggest names on the market. They had all the bells and whistles and technology you could ever want, and that's great. However, a CRM is only as good as the data you enter into it and how engaged the user is with the software. If the CRM is overly complicated, it doesn't matter how great the potential is, loan officers won't use it. Sales Engine has been the perfect balance between tech and user friendliness. But don't get me wrong, Sales Engine has impressive and robust tech capabilities which we have leveraged to create automated processes, deliver content, track conversion, but most importantly, close more loans. You don't have to be a programmer to use it either. If you're looking for a new CRM and are interested in how Sales Engine can help you and your team go to the next level, I encourage you to reach out to the Sales Engine team today to learn more. And as always, expect more with Sless. All right, so that's just a really great video. We really appreciated that, um, just sharing about Sales Engine and how his team has used it. Um, so that's our three products. Like I said earlier, you have lots of different options with us uh, here at Reverse Focus. So we have our online dominance total package, which includes everything. You have your the Sales Engine, the website, and the SEO program. Or you can just do things individually or a smaller bundle. So if you just want the website, you can do that. Or just Sales Engine, you can do that. Or if you wanted to do the website in the SEO program or a website in Sales Engine, you can do that as well. Uh, no long-term contracts. We're just month to month. Um, so those are the options that we have here at Reverse Focus. Uh, so now I think I'm going to transition and show you more details, what our website actually looks like and what Sales Engine looks like. All right. So our website here is a just an example of what our websites look like. Um, now, one thing about our websites is it is a template, okay, but uh, you can customize a lot of stuff within the template. So for example, this whole first section right here, this is uh, what we call the homepage sliders. Okay, this part is completely customizable. So you have a title, a subtitle, a button, the background image, okay, all of that you can customize yourself and you can add in several sliders Okay, see that they will just rotate through all the sliders that you have. So that part is completely customizable. And I'll just work my way down the home page. Obviously, right here we'll get your information on this on this little left-hand side. And then right here, um, it's a video that Shannon Hicks created. Um, and we give you that by default. Now, if you want to use your own video, you can do that as well. We could just put that in right there. And then we have a little about section that you can put your own content in. We have testimonials that you can paste in. If you don't have any testimonials, this section just won't appear. 
And then the more resources section is where, again, you can customize the title, image, and button, and you can have as many as you want, and they'll cycle through. We do have, obviously, the accreditations and affiliations that you can, you can put on here. Um, we have some, and then the bottom part is all about compliance, right? We know it's really important with compliance. So we have all this automatically on your site. Plus, you can link to any privacy policies and put any compliant content that you need to in this footer right here. And that will show up, um, you know, on all the pages of your website. So that's where you can put right there. Okay, now, like I said, we have a really clear call to action. So we have your phone number right here, nice and easy to see. Okay, we have a contact form, so uh, people can fill in this contact form right away. All right, and that would get emailed to you. And like I said, if you have sales engine, that information would go directly in the sales engine. Okay, we also have the get a quote button. So if people fill in this form. This form is just asking for address, loan balance, home value, name, email, and phone. And then that will again get emailed to you or put into your sales engine account right away. Um, we have, like I said, the loan calculator and the blog, which you can turn those off if you don't want to have those. And then we have all of our reverse mortgage content. So this is the, a really important piece is you can have all of this content on here, um, all about reverse mortgages that comes with your website already preloaded. Uh, this part is what comes with it, along with you know who we help. We have seniors, adult children, trusted advisors, okay, all of this content on here with your site. Now, I told you about my favorite feature, which is the custom pages. Okay, you can do your own custom pages. Now, this is just a very basic example, but if I wanted to have a video on my website and I wanted it to have its own page, this is what it could look like, right? I could embed my video right there and it's on my site. Or if I wanted to you know, have some content, I would write all my content out. And you can even make these custom pages include a quote form or the contact form um, in the middle of the page. So you can make that happen as well. Now, obviously we can link to all your social profiles. So if you have those, you can link to them. Um, you, you can embed third-party widgets. So I don't know if some of you might use the uh, you know, reverse market widget, RMI widget. You can easily embed that on your site. Um, so yeah, that's our website there. And again, I help you get everything started. You're not starting from scratch. I'll help you create the website, edit it, the whole, the whole process, I'm there with you on the site. And then just so you, with the SEO program, this is where we would create it, that custom page and we would get it on here on, on the menu right there. And so we'd have all that content about, you know, in my example, Nashville reverse mortgages, we'd have this whole page all about it. Okay, and it would be getting that traffic from Google. Hey, Ryan, one thing I want to, can you hear me all right? Yes. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't know if I muted. Um, one thing I want to go over that people aren't probably seeing, because I've been through a lot of marketers over the years. I have hired uh -huh. tons of marketing people to do various things online, and it always comes back to you guys. You know, marketers for mortgage think that they can just come into reverse mortgage and it'll work the same as it did on their mortgage stuff. So I also coach a lot of people and they hire that same marketer to build a custom website. And then there's a bunch of components that they didn't think about. And so mm -hmm. one of the things I love, and um, I, I've worked with you guys for so long, I love to take credit for this, that your buttons are orange. <laughs> Oh, I learned yeah. <laughs> from some marketer elsewhere, and that's a really important feature. Um, but mm -hmm. also the gamification of the um, quotes. If you can go into the quote, I want to I want to go over this feature a little bit because a lot of our loan officers may not be aware of how important this is. This form, and when I say gamification, it means that it's turning the eat the how do I say that? Turning the user experience into step by step pieces and mm -hmm. showing them the progress along the way to completion. People want to know, okay, how much more information are they going to ask? How many more steps am I going to have to do? And this is a really simple, only asking one piece of information at a time. A lot mm -hmm. of the loan officers I coach, unfortunately, they're very, I mean, it's amazing that they're entrepreneurial, but unfortunately, sometimes they want to do everything themselves. And so they show me their websites and their form fills, and I'm seeing like 30 fields of information all on one form fill, yes. and it's just not effective. <laughs> No. <laughs> and so the way that you guys have built it out in this system is is really user friendly and it's likely that more people will fill out your quote than if you mm -hmm. did it in a different way like the li really long you know you have 30 different fields of information they're right. looking at the screen going oh i'm not i'm 
I'm a private person. I'm not going to give you all this. Yes, most definitely. Yeah, that's a good point. I've seen people try to ask for way too much. I'm like, you're not going to get a single lead asking with any of that. Yeah, but I love the questions you do ask because then it lends, it leaves a little bit of opening. What I do personally, and this is for everybody listening, I personally will take a quote, um, excuse me, not a quote, I will take a form fill like this and I will call the client because there's some more information I want to know. I want to know about their house. I want to know, is it suited for them? I want to know, is there anyone else on title? Is there um, a spouse maybe? Is is this property, can I even lend on this property? Does it qualify? So this gives me the basics so I can run some numbers and say, okay, this person is is within range. We could probably do a loan for them, but I haven't built the client rapport. I haven't built the loyalty. This mm-hmm. just gets me in the door. And I mm-hmm. love that about your system because it's not overwhelming for the client to fill this information out. And it's not so private and personal that they refuse to. Right. Totally. Yeah. And if if you are somebody who's wanting to ask different questions, because you do have the ability with the custom pages, if you have a, there's lots of third-party apps out there that create your own forms or surveys. All you have to do is create a form or a survey on a third-party platform and you can embed a form onto a custom page and you can ask your own questions. So if you wanted to maybe branch out a little bit, you do have that option as well. Very cool. I love the uh, yeah. the Steve Sless video, another industry leader that uses your software because mm-hmm. it's the best. It's easy, <laughs> it's plug and play. And I know Steve personally, I've, I've worked with him before. I know that he's been through some systems as well. He He's mm-hmm. very forward thinking like I am. He's tried and tested things and it always comes back to you guys. Yeah, yeah, he is a very forward thinking guy. <laughs> um, Christina, is there anything else you want me to show on the website before we move to Sales Engine? Um, yeah, the Jumbo tab, I think. That okay. I think is important because people go reverse mortgages and they don't really mm-hmm. realize that there's more to reverse than just a heck of, you know? Mm-hmm. And so having that jumbo tab as a its own living space, I think is very valuable. Yes. This is something that we've been adding in for a lot of our clients. Uh, really a lot of information here about jumbo reverse mortgages. So, and a little graphic that we have in there. So yeah, we can make sure to, we can get this. This doesn't have to be on your site, but I put it on everybody's site by default. You can always get rid of it if you want. But yeah, I always give people this jumbo tab as well. Yeah, this is awesome. And over the years, I've populated the blog. I've had custom pages. I've done my own videos. And you guys have been so helpful in making sure that I know how to get them up. Um, Your site is very user-friendly. So anybody Mm -hmm. who's already done their own website will find you guys so easy to use. But for people who haven't, your guys' mm. support is very helpful. Yes. You know, I yes. I just, I believe in your company in a big way. <laughs> you <laughs> guys you so <laughs> fix a need that we all have. And one yeah. thing I didn't, I didn't really actually remember how important that is, but the five-star rating uh, down in the bottom corner, mm-hmm. that is really powerful to just have as a little reminder. Hey, yeah. I do have stars on Google. Uh-huh. Yeah. And this is, this is a, uh, this is not our app. You know, this is kind of here to show you that you can embed different apps onto our website. Um, I can help you with something like this, but this is definitely really, this is obviously an amazing thing. You know, these are actually our Google reviews, uh, our reverse focus. And so, you know. Oh, Owen, Owen's here in town with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he left that review. So this little widget is just showing you, you know, some people have chat widgets on the website or, or different types of widgets. Uh, this is just showing you that that is possible. And I can always help if you want it. Like, hey, I want to have something like that. I can definitely help you out with that as well. That's um, awesome. One thing I forgot is this is what the back end looks like. Um, and really, you know, the main thing is you're going to work your way down this to edit anything you want to edit. And I just want to show you an example of how easy it is. Like the slider titles, if you want to change something here, let me just change it to a, an exclamation point. Like that's all you're doing. You're not doing any coding. You're not changing crazy things. You're just changing words on a on a little, you know, a field right here. So editing your website can really just be as easy as changing words on a line. So now I have the exclamation point instead of the period. So I just want to show you that is kind of what the back end looks like for you guys. Once you sign up, you'll have access to the back end and you can edit anything that you want to edit here on the website. And those local um, tags, the content stuff, I started that way with you guys. When I very first started, I would do one blog a month. I think this Mm -hmm. was before you had the copywriting team that does that now. And Mm. every month I would pick a small town city near me 
I'm in San Diego. So we've got a lot of little town names and I'd make sure that I was putting that into the blog and how powerful that was. I was floored. Mm -hmm. It really does help. I mean, the SEO you guys are already doing helps a lot, but then just Uh getting into the blog section, you know, just once a month, if, if you guys can add that into your schedule and make sure that you get one thing up a month, putting up client stories, that goes a long way too. Mm-hmm. client pictures <laughs> if you get if you yeah. get a happy client picture at the end that one goes really far yeah blogging helps a tremendous amount with the seo program for sure so our seo program does great but the people who at blog as well they have even better results so definitely yeah. recommend blogging and before we're done i don't know if this is part of your plan or not but i'd love to see inside the crm is that something we can do today together yes i have it pulled up right here so if we could, can I kind of go through how I use this and you show yeah. like in real time? Because I want this to be training too, because mm-hmm. this CRM is is one of the most important things. So I know people coming from the forward side, oh yeah, CRM is so important. Let me put this in perspective for you. So from the forward side, when you're doing a refinance or maybe it's a purchase, there is some other driving factor that is pushing the deal forward in an urgent way, right? You're purchasing a property and you've got to close within 30, 60 days, whatever that is, or you're refinancing to get a lower monthly bill and the rates are at a point where you need to hit it now. With reverse, that's not, those are not factors that are the most important. Sometimes you do a purchase and that makes that part urgent. But in general, when somebody's looking at a reverse, they take 12 times, 12 points of contact before they ever move forward. On average, most of us experience two years from the first time somebody looks into a reverse from the to the time they actually move forward because it's not just about interest rates. It's about so much more. And of course, my coaching goes over that. You guys have access to that in the courses. But what's really important here is I want to make sure that you understand the CRM is so important because these are seniors and just any consumer. They're not going to remember your name unless you have made some huge impact and you're not going to make some huge impact in every single client's mind. And even though, even the ones you do, they may not remember your name. This is the tool that will help make sure you stay in front of them and it will level out your business. This will help you say, okay, well, so-and-so told me that they're not ready for three months. Well, instead of taking a notepad and just saying, call Danny in three months, now you're putting them into your pipeline and notifying mm-hmm creating notifications to yourself to say, Hey, this person said three months, call them. So now as you build this, my, my CRM is so robust. I love it because it over time, I know what clients I'm going to call during a month. Every month is not reset down to zero. Like it is for a lot of loan officers. Every month at the beginning of the month, I have a list of people that should be ready. And so that's why the CRM is one of my favorite pieces. And then also, Ryan, you guys have engineered it in a way where the other CRMs I've been exposed to, a lot of my emails go to spam or junk. Mm -hmm. Your guys' don't. And they look like they're genuinely coming from me. So when I send all my referral partners a communication or happy holidays, they actually reply back. It's not going into their spam. Um, And so that I don't know how you guys did that, but that's a really big feature that we should talk about. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we we make sure to, we monitor, you know, make sure that nobody's, you know, abusing the system so that, you know, that they're not doing anything there. And then, um, you know, we, we have our integration with our SMTP where it's coming from you. And like you said, you know, these aren't, they don't look like these super marketing emails. They look like you just emailed this person. And so the, the way we wrote these emails and the way that we have them coming is our little secret sauce to making sure that they don't end up in the spam inbox because that does happen in a lot of places. Um, but one thing Christina mentioned was the reminder. So I'll just show you real quick. If you open up a, so this is our like consumer, like you can see over here on the right-hand side, we have a consumer records and our partner records. Okay. You can see all your consumer records here. And just so you know, this whole stack, this whole view is called a stack and you can create several stacks. And so Christina, is that something you've taken advantage of is several different stacks? So oh, yeah. Yeah, you can drag the fields all around. You can add in different fields or get rid of, let's say I want to get rid of certain fields. Um, you can do that. And then you see over here on the status, okay, that still has a little red one. You can filter down. So I'm only looking at my new leads or if I wanted to look at contact attempt one. So there's all my contact attempt one leads. I've got 68 of them. 
So you can create different stocks and you can save them so that when you log in for the day, you can come and you can go to all your different lead, your different stacks and work your way through those stacks. So if I wanted to log in for the day, I could go look at my new leads and all I have to do is click that button and now I'm seeing all my new leads. Um, but once you open up a record, this is where you're going to see, you know, a lot of their, all of their information in there. And the one thing Christina mentioned is the reminders, which is down here. So down here on the bottom tab, you know, if I, let's say I call Thomas and he's like, hey, you know, we well, using Christina's example, call me again in three months, can't talk right now. All I have to do is click add a reminder, say call again in three months. Um, and I can do this, the actual day and the actual time. So three months from right now is going to be, I think, November. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, September, October, November. Let's say I want it to happen at 9 a.m. I can have it happen. And then I can have an email and text me. The only reason to have this message is this is a demo account. I didn't put my phone number on. Uh, but you can have it happen. And then in three months, I'll get emailed and texted. And I'll get that reminder. So I don't need to keep that piece of paper. I don't need to hope I wrote that down somewhere. I don't need to mentally remember that. Okay, the system's going to tell me to, to follow up with them. Um, one other feature I, I use a lot, I'd like love to highlight. I kind of want to highlight what I use. I love I love oh. everything in here, but like there's certain features that I'm like, yeah, this one's really helpful, is the lead source. So the platform that I, I talk about all the time is, you know, referral partners. That's how this business is done. You need good referral partners. And so when we have good referral partners, what do we want to do? We want to handle them with a lot of care. And so you can link your referral partner to the contact so that you can see, oh, Susan, you know, Realtor Susan has actually sent me these five clients and I can update Realtor Susan when, whether I remember that it was her lead or not because the system tracks it for me. Mm -hmm. And that's an important piece of caring for your referral partners is updating them. And so having yes. the ability to track, and then the system can email them as well. And I think that's important as well is that mm -hmm. we have consumer facing messaging and automation and partners facing messaging and automation. Both of those are so important. And there are not that many CRMs that do this in a good way that you can easily integrate reverse things into. And you guys have already mm -hmm. built that. Yeah. Yeah. So this, what you're looking at right now is I pulled up, this is my referral partner, Ryan testing. Okay. And I see, I clicked on my referred leads and I see, okay, well, this referral partner, he sent me these three leads. Um, and so that's an easy way to go and track and see exactly how many leads that referral partner sent you. So that's a super cool feature, like you mentioned. Yeah, I love it. And then yeah. before before we, we end this, I want to make sure we go over just seeing what one of the workflows look like. So I think if we take one of your leads, you know, this person's a new lead, we would assign them to one of these workflows. And we just kind of want to go into looking at the workflow and then, yeah, how to actually navigate it because that's mm -hmm. one of the biggest pieces that I help coach on. And so yeah. I think if we can capture it here, that would be very helpful <laughs> to show them how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you know, we have a lot, all these workflows are ones that will come with your account automatically. Um, and so ones that, a few that I like to highlight, obviously you have like birthday and holiday and seasons, but we have these two right here are really important. Monthly educational drip, you'll notice it's for consumers and then we have a monthly educational drip for partners. So if you come and look at this consumers one, okay, we see the name, the description. And then if you click on rules, okay, you'll see there's 12 months here. And so you have the name, timing, condition, and action. So uh, the timing, it says after one month based on date workflow assigned. So the way that you can read this is like, oh, well, I'm going to sign somebody to this workflow and one month later, they're going to get this email. Okay. There's no condition. So this will, if somebody's on it, they're just going to get these emails. And then the action is send email to record primary email. All that means is it's going to go to your records email um, that's what that action is. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can just click this little magnifying glass. And here's a little trick. I know this is a little small. If you click this little bottom right, you can drag that down and <gasps> you can. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. That so will that... be helpful because you go, <laughs> you want to go in and make sure that, that you read through all these before you send them to your clients, make sure that yes. you know this information. Definitely. So you can come in and read through all of it. Um, and it's not on here, but 
you're going to upload your signature to the system. And so your signature, your email signature will automatically go out on all of the emails that get sent. Um, and you can just work your way through the emails and then you can edit them as well. So obviously I'm in here, so I can edit these. Um, now, depending on your company, some companies may not let you edit certain workflows. So that's all depending on company, not us. Uh, but most of you will probably be able to edit these. And then obviously you can create your own. Um, so these, you can just tell this one says after two months, after three months, after four months. So it's just going to go for 12 months sending those emails. Um, let me pull up one other one. This no lead left behind one. This is a really popular one. I think it's Eric's. I think Eric created this a long time ago and he's just stuck with it ever since. He loves it. Um, so this one has a little bit more in it. Um, there's some different conditions and different actions. So if I just look, okay, this is the name, new lead notification. Okay, it's going to go out. It says after minutes. So it says nothing. So I know that that's right away, zero minutes. It's only going to go to people who have a record status of new. And what it's doing is it's sending a notification. So we have notifications within Sales Engine. And that's what that's going to do is have a notification pop up. All right. Now the well, next one you'll note oh, before you jump ahead. off of this, I want to, I want to say too, for those of you that are just your individual shops, you don't have big companies, you're going to want to really read through this and edit it to your format because mm -hmm. those of you that have bigger companies and you're assigning leads to loan officers, this is fantastic. I think it's dialed in perfectly to help manage a team. But if it's somebody who's just an individual, they're not going to want to be notified every, you know, four hours in the first day and then one minute. So you want to make sure you go in and edit this to tailor it to your system and processes. Mm -hmm. I found when I started and I was just my own little shop, I was tiny. Um, when I started this, I was overwhelmed with the notifications. So you want to make sure you clean it up before so you don't start to tune it out and make it into white noise because the notifications will keep you on track. Every mm -hmm. single morning, you should be logging in and seeing your notifications, doing those tasks, and then moving on with your day. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you'll notice this next one, it says send email to record owner. So you're going to be the record owner. So that's just another notification. Okay, if you miss the in-app notification, it's going to email you. And then this one, send email to record primary email. Again, that's going to be the leads email, and it's going to send them an email. And then um, one thing I want to make sure to mention is you don't necessarily look at it we're just working your way down the most important thing to look at is the timing so like this one it says after four four hours based on last time condition is true so the last so four hours after you did contact attempt one you're going to get a notification so on and so forth and so you can look at this um for the timing okay don't necessarily look at this and then the, the last part is this condition okay if somebody is, if you put somebody on this workflow and then all of a sudden their record status is none of these statuses, okay? If they're no longer any of these statuses, they're not going to get any of these emails or notifications or anything like that. So they moved on, okay? They're no longer new or they're no longer any contact attempts, okay? You've made contact with them. Maybe they started the application process or whatever, okay? They're not going to get these anymore because of our conditions right here. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't want them to get those emails anymore. Okay, that's not going to happen because of those conditions in there. Yeah, good point. People get really confused about that too. <laughs> I love the way it's yes. built, you know, because it's when, when you accidentally leave somebody, I've done it. I've created my own workflows. When you accidentally leave somebody on and then, you know, on Wednesday, I call them and say, hey, I'm reviewing your documents. Can you explain this thing? I need to write a letter of explanation. And then that same day, they get an email that says, hey, are you ready to move forward? <laughs> because right. I didn't fix the the automation and make it dialed in. That was a bummer. So the way you guys have built it, like that was my own workflow I created myself. <laughs> so, so you guys have it templated out really well. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. And like we said, we have, you know, different ones for partners as well. So this is a monthly educational trip for your referral partners. So it's going to be, you know, a little bit different, obviously. Um, oh, that's going to be a reminder. Oops, that was the wrong one. Uh, monthly educational trip for partners. Um, you know, it looks like this and I get phone calls. Uh, this is how it goes. And um, you can look through all the emails right there. And then one quick note, people are always like, how do I get their name on it? This is how this little percent, first name percent, 
that's going to pull your records first thing and get it on for there. And you can add and customize this. Like I have in the past done videos and just did a little placeholder video where I was talking about what mm -hmm. this content said. And then that's part of what I edited into this is a little yeah, embedded so, video. Or you can change yeah, the content, little... all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love it because it's video. one of the hardest parts uh, is the CRM. You know, that's uh, when I'm coaching a loan officer, that's one of the pieces that I'm constantly going, okay, have you figured this part out? Have you figured this part out? And it takes pretty much the whole time we work together in coaching mm -hmm. to get to the point where it's like, okay, have you, have you spun your wheels enough? Have you exhausted yourself trying to create websites and trying to make your CRM force into reverse? And right. a lot of the time, <laughs> you know, I, I advise people, I don't tell them you have to do this. Of course not. But a lot of the time it's a lot of splashing around to end up using you guys anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um well is there anything else you want me to show here christina yes uh how how do people get in contact with you i think we're uh, near the end of our time together yes. so let's get how do people get in contact so, with you and i think there's a button beneath this video um you can click on that button and you'll schedule a call with me um and i if you have any questions i'll happily answer your questions and then if you're ready to sign up i can just get you signed up on the phone and then we'll just move forward. Um, and just so you know, people always ask timing. If you sign up today, you know, I'll have your website up most likely today, maybe tomorrow. Same thing with the CRM. There's a few pieces of setup that we have to do internally. Um, so we'll get your CRM set up either today or tomorrow. And uh, then you'll be up and running. We can always hop on Zoom, uh, Zoom calls once, uh, once you get set up. I always tell people, play around with the system. Don't schedule a Zoom call with me before you played around with it because you don't have any questions yet. So, you know, once you sign up, we always can do an onboarding call with the website or the CRM, um, play around with the system for a while, and then schedule that Zoom call with me so I can help you navigate the system and answer any questions that you have. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ryan, and thank you for going through all of this. I'm a big yes. believer in everything you guys do, and I appreciate your effort today. Right. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. Uh, we, Eric and I just really, really appreciate your support and all the great things you say about us. Hey, I only <laughs> push things I believe in. Thank you. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> all right. Have a good one. All right. You too. Thanks. Bye.